Hey there, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. Uh, pretty much me uh, talking about two trailers I've seen. And uh, positively, Mandy and Searching. Now, Mandy is a Nicolas Cage film. Don't know when it's coming out. It's from George P. Trasmato's son. George P. Trasmato's is a director I enjoy. Made some of my favorite films on Leviathan. Ramble for Split Part 2, Cobra, Of a Known Origin. His son did this one film called Beyond the Black Rainbow, which I've never seen. I've seen the trailer, I haven't seen the movie. And this trailer, Mandy, looked really good. It looked trippy, had a really intriguing visual look to it. Looks like it's a horror revenge movie. Like these cult members that look straight out of hell. Some of these weird, crazy suits on. They kidnap Nicolas Cage's love of his life. And Nick Cage makes this weapon and goes after these guys. I don't know if it's going to be one of those films that's going to be boring. Or it's going to have this out of the blue downbeat ending. I hope not. But the trailer, I like the look of the trailer. I like the music of the trailer. Uh... Looks like Nick Cage could be good in it. I think Bill Duke was in the trailer too. I think it was Bill Duke. And if so, I'm like, holy shit, I haven't seen Bill Duke in a while. I think it was, I think it was Bill Duke from Predator and among many other films, Commando. I believe it was him. <clears throat> but very curious to see what George P. Cosmato's son can do. Again, I like the look of the film, I like the music in the trailer. The idea intrigues me. One bit of the trailer had animation, like briefly seen, you briefly see it. Looks like straight out of Heavy Metal from the 80s, and I love a Heavy Metal, the, the first movie. Didn't like the sequel, but I love the first Heavy Metal movie. <clears throat> it looks different than stuff that's coming out nowadays, and I appreciate that. It intrigues me. Probably a film that's not going to get in the theaters around here, of course. But I definitely look forward to Mandy. I, yeah, I don't know when the release date is, but uh, I mean, hell, in the trailer, it shows a chainsaw fight. I'm always down to see a chainsaw fight. <laughs> always down to see one. Not enough chainsaw fights, in my opinion, in movies. That's one thing. Movies need more chainsaw fights. So whenever one happens, I'm like, what? I'm always curious about it. So Mandy looked good. The other one is called Searching with John Cho. Now John Cho is the star of the Harold and Kumar movies. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, go to Gu Guantanamo Bay, um, a very Harold and Kumar Christmas 3D. I think that was the third one. I enjoy those movies. I really like John Cho. I know he's also Sulu in the new Star Trek movies. He was in a brief role in the Total Recall remake. But I like John Cho as an actor. And Searching it's done in the style of Unfriended. But what happens is he's a father and his daughter has been kidnapped. Well, he doesn't know what happened to his daughter, actually. Let me take that back. His daughter is missing. And he doesn't know, has she been kidnapped? What happened? Did she leave? Did she went away? And pretty much, it's done in the style Unfriended. So it's done with looking at the computer screen, windows popping up, YouTube, Facebook, all that stuff. And I'm trying to search for information to learn about his daughter, what happened. And I hope it's not one of those bullshit movies where it has this ending out of fucking secret window with Johnny Depp. If you've seen that movie, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know it's based on a Stephen King story, but still, it's a secret window. Which I, I was kind of not minding the movie until the fucking ending, which I'm like, I guess in the trailer, and then I'm like, nah, I can't be right. What, I'm right? <laughs> That happened to me two times. Secret Window and Identity. Both times I saw the trailer and I swear to God, I guessed the fucking ending. And I'm like, please don't let me be right. And I did. I'm like, Fuck. 
So I hope it's not one of those bullshit endings for this. Please don't. But you never know. But I, I like the way it looked. I like. I know there's Spectre Unfriended. I know there's a sequel coming out, which the the trailer didn't do anything for me on the Unfriended two. I'm much looking forward to the searching. It's not a horror film. It's more of a thriller, which is fine with me. Mystery thriller. It was definitely an intriguing trailer. It's nice to see John Cho get a chance to show more of his acting abilities. Looks like he'll do a really good job. And yeah, I like the concept. I like the idea. And again, it's probably a film like Mandy that's not going to be in theaters around here. So, of course. But I definitely look forward to to that. So yeah, Mandy and Searching. Two films that are not big budget, big blockbuster movies. But they look intriguing, they look interesting, they look like they have some good solid performances from the leading people, Nick Cage and John Cho. Uh, like the look of them, the style they're being done in. And I hope they don't disappoint. They don't they don't have shitty endings. Because there's many films that lately that get burned by shitty endings. Upgrade. I didn't see the film folks, but my two friends Mike OCP and then Efri talked to me on Skype because he saw the fucking movie too and we were talking on Skype and those are my two best friends and we usually have the same taste I'm like yeah fuck upgrade man pull that bullshit be like if Robocop ended with Peter Willer he's no longer Alex Murphy he's been wiped out brain wise now he's just product of OCP it'd be a shitty ending to Robocop I don't give a fuck if I spoiled anything. I don't care. But anyway, Searching and Mandy. Look forward to those. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. And we will see you later. Bye-bye.